What's going on champs and champets? It's Fire Monkey here and in today's YouTube video I want to talk about rocket racing and everything you should be expecting from that mode going forward so The reason why I want to make this video is because recently we had the launch of season one for rocket racing And a lot of people are worried or concerned about what's going to happen in the future Because even though we had a seasonal update We never actually got any form of you know seasonal battle pass system or anything People are used to seeing battle passes everywhere. I mean rocket league itself has the rocket pass We have Fortnite festival with the festival pass. We have the main battle royale game mode with the battle pass and all that type of stuff but rocket racing despite having the same theming of seasonal updates did not get a brand new pass with this whole entire seasonal launch and the reason why i come to find out is because internally what epic games is doing what psionics is doing isn't trying to sit here and focus on specifically you know having a lot of things for you to purchase money on for rocket racing instead seasonal updates are specifically designed to be themed updates right it's not supposed to be designed on pay attention to the season a number or anything right at least as of right now the whole entire point behind all of it is quite literally just hey we want to have a specific theme of you know neon theme stuff this time around or whatever else so we're going to have a seasonal update with that theme and we're going to launch a ton of new maps and stuff with that update a ton of new vehicles you know maybe a seasonal starter pack at the most for you to enjoy but there isn't going to be like a pass you have to grind out through because if we paid attention to Fortnite already you have the festival pass and the normal battle royale pass and if you play rocket league you have the rocket pass on top of everything so grinding out all three things at once would just be a mind-boggling thing and then if you take rocket league's rocket pass and you add on top of it the rocket racing pass if they were to ever get one that would be four whole entire things to do and i think it would just be you know overdone to the point where it's like i don't even want to try completing all these right it's like i don't care about collecting all the rewards at this point because that is just like the game trying to suck my soul and life away from me and what i think that they could do going forwards right now this part of the video by the way everything else i've kind of mentioned has you know been like the actual stuff that I have to talk about so feel free to click off now but if you want to hear me kind of yap on about some extra things that have, like a theory and everything else I think they could do for rocket racing in the future feel free to stay but what I think they could do in the future to actually implement a pass system into the game while also allowing us to continue playing Fortnite and continue unlocking new things would be synergy with Rocket League's rocket pass system I don't know how they would do it because it's two completely separate games with two completely separate code bases based on the fact that Rocket League is still on Unreal Engine 3 and Fortnite's on Unreal Engine 5, but imagine if by playing Rocket Racing, you would be able to actually progress your Rocket Pass in order to earn those new rewards a little bit quicker, since, you know, if you actually play Rocket League right now and go through that game's Rocket Pass system, you'll be able to earn rewards that you can already use in Fortnite, so it would only make a lot more sense to make it so the things you could use in Fortnite, you can still earn from Fortnite itself. And it's not like this is an impossible thing for them to do, right? Because if we pay attention to what Rocket League has actually done in the past with then games such as Sideswipe, they made it so in Sideswipe, whenever you got a victory in that mode, whenever you played Rocket League, the first victory you would get would be like double XP, or it would be like 2,000 XP points or something along those lines, which was a pretty sizable boost, and made it so you wanted to go ahead and play Sideswipe as well if you wanted to level up faster, because you play one or two matches over there, you know, you get yourself some wins real quickly, then you hop over on normal Rocket League, you go ahead and get a win there, and your win in Rocket League is more beneficial towards your leveling on the seasonal content and everything else, because of how you actually did and performed in a completely different game and imagine if depending on how you placed in rocket racing even if they didn't make it so battle passes were linked up to other games or anything else they could make it so it's like oh hey you know if you get a top three or something you get a certain amount of xp in rocket league for the first match you play assuming that you play the match within like a few days or whatever of you actually going ahead and playing rocket racing they could do tons of stuff like that and just make it a lot nicer so that you don't feel like you're going to be penalized for not playing rocket league and instead playing one of the other games in that exact same franchise such as rocket racing of course, this is something that would probably be a very long ways off, and as far as I'm aware, there's nothing really being talked about internally regarding this as of yet. Maybe there is, and I'm just not fully aware of it, but I do think that is the dream for Fortnite going forwards, considering they want Fortnite to be a hub of games where you're able to enjoy different game genres instead of just thinking of, thinking of you know, the different game genres and everything as game modes in Fortnite. So I would say it's only a matter of time until we start learning more and more information regarding everything going on here, and until we start seeing more changes happening to Rocket League. Fortnite Festival, LEGO Fortnite and stuff going forwards that will allow us to get even more content out of all of the modes we play. But for right now, you know, everything is still kind of like in those early stages and I'd love to hear in the comments down below what do you think regarding their whole entire plan for seasonal updates not being related to, you know, specifically like paid passes or anything but instead seasonal updates are being made and, you know, themed around themed seasonal content releases with, you know, certain maps, different starter packs, all the type of stuff. Do you think that's a better system than what a lot of people thought we were going to have originally? And what do you think about 
about how the future of the mode could potentially be, assuming that enough players keep actually playing the mode so that it doesn't end up like imposters where Epic Games are just like, hey, you know, we're, we're moving on from this. So, you know what? Adios, fellas. Goodbye, right? It's something that I've just been kind of thinking about recently, and I thought I would make a good video topic for today's video, even though I know Rocket Racing is kind of like the least played mode out of all of the modes I've been releasing recently. But of course, you know, it's a part of the Fortnite ecosystem where a channel here dedicated to all the Fortnite news, and it just kind of allows me to make easier content whenever we have, you know, a slow news day. Because if you guys haven't actually noticed here, ever since we got to this point now where we have so many different game modes in Fortnite, it's now gone to a point where we're not getting as much news dropping all the time for every single mode or, you know, for Battle Royale or whatever else, the core game. And instead, it's kind of, you know, spread out with updates not being so focused on one specific thing, but instead some updates are only focused around Fortnite Festival. Like this upcoming update we're going to have next week is going to be focused on the brand new seasonal release for Festival and all this type of stuff. So it just kind of allows me to have more filler content for you guys to enjoy. But until next time, hope you champs and champions enjoyed today's video. Hope I got you excited for the future of Rocket Racing, and I'll catch you guys a little bit later with another upload. Peace out.